Good morning. This is Agashvani Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Speaker of Nagaland Legislative Assembly, Sharingan Longkoma, said young people play a vital role in shaping the future of our nation and that their empowerment is essential for sustainable progress. He said this while gracing the validatory function of the Indian Youth Parliament held in Jaipur, Rajasthan, yesterday on the theme Empowering the Next Generation. Longamur emphasized the need for the young people to stay grounded, cultivate a strong sense of righteousness and demonstrate obedience in their personal and professional lives. He further encouraged the students to hold steadfast to moral values, foster integrity and be willing to make self-sacrifices for the greater good. The NLS speaker also underscored that these qualities are essential for shaping not only their own future but also the future of the nation. Nagaland Community Conserved Areas Forum, NCCAF, said the introduction of large-scale oil palm plantations in Nagaland could severely disrupt the delicate balance between conservation and community development. The forum, in a letter addressed to the Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Nagaland, stated that the financial gains from oil palm cultivation might be promising in the short term, but the long-term environmental costs are far more damaging. In Nagaland, where forests are rich in unique flora and fauna, the consequences of replacing these ecosystems with oil palm would be catastrophic for local biodiversity, the forum said. It maintained that species that rely on these forests will lose their habitats and the communities who depend on forests for sustenance and livelihood would face environmental degradation that would be difficult to reverse. The forum therefore urged the concerned authority to take a strong stance against the large-scale expansion of oil palm in ecologically sensitive areas like Nagaland and to promote alternative sustainable agricultural practices that align with both environmental conservation and the economic well-being of local communities. The NCCAF represents 29 Community Conserved Areas CCAs that encompass 120 villages across Nagaland. 85% of CCAs have been self-initiated by the communities without any government intervention, while 15% have received support through various governmental initiatives. World Bamboo Day is being observed today. The day raises awareness about the environmental, economic and cultural benefits of bamboo. On World Bamboo Day, Chief Minister Nipirio said, We acknowledge our bamboo farmers, artisans and craftsmen. He said the day serves as a reminder of bamboo's role towards a more sustainable future. Rio also urged Bernal to continue to explore its innovative uses and harness its full potential. Prime Minister Narendra Modi led NDA government completed 100 days of its third successive term at the centre yesterday. Speaking at an event at Puvaneshwar in Odisha, Prime Minister Modi said big decisions have been taken for the empowerment of the poor, the farmers, youth and women during the period. Modi listed out the achievements of the past hundred days. On the occasion, several union ministers held a press conferences in the national capital to highlight the initiatives taken during the period. Union Home Minister Amit Shah said projects worth 15 lakh crore rupees were sanctioned or initiated during the past 100 days. Speaking on One Nation, One Election, the Home Minister said it will be implemented by the government in this term. He said census work will be initiated soon. In a bid to promote cleanliness and ensure the well-being of sanitation workers, the Kohima Municipal Council, KMC, officially kicked off the Swachada He Seva SHS campaign with a Safar Mitra Suraksha Shivir, a free health camp for ward and village sanitation drivers and workers at new supermarket complex Razu Point, Kohima. CEO of KMC T. Lanusendla Longamur, emphasizing the significance of the Swachata He Seva campaign, urged sanitation workers to hold cleanliness in their personal lives, paralleling the important role they play in maintaining the city's hygiene. Additionally, she encouraged all workers to register for the free health checkup, underscoring the council's commitment to their well being. 
On the occasion, Swachata Pledge was administered, affirming the participants' dedica dedication to cleanliness. During the health camp, free medical tests and counselling services were provided for all sanitation workers. In addition, basic work and safety care were also distributed to ensure their safety during daily operations. Meanwhile, KMC is also conducting a cleanliness drive this morning from Old Emily Junction, opposite our church, to Razo Point. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.